I, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where I wanted to start on saying thank you. If I wanted to say thank you on my Instagram story, if I wanted to say thank you on my YouTube channel, if I wanted to say thank you through text or thank you through person, many multiple platforms. I have already said thank you to everyone who has individually replied because all of your guys' congratulations with last night, my article that was featured on Happily on Facebook. Apparently, we did not know this until later in the night, blew up. And it was featured on a couple TV networks. One of them was Telemundo. The other one, I cannot even remember for the life of me. And then we are just looked at my name and you to see my article on multiple websites and people are just sending all my friends and family pictures and photos on oh my gosh we see Carla on TV oh my gosh why did we see Kayla on TV we see Renee on TV you know why is it like they're on TV congratulations you know congratulations so many people and it was a shock it was a lot to take in. Of course, me being me, I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> totally cried and called people and shared everyone the news and it was so huge. It was so huge. And I still this morning have, if you can't tell why I've laid low on my phone because it was still a lot to take in and people are still blowing up my phone through multiple platforms trying to get a hold of me and I, all I can say, and I've always said this from the very beginning with everything with my adoption series, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for believing and seeing and supporting and sharing my journey of adoption through to everyone, to yourself, to your friends, to other people around. Because like I said, adoption comes with pros and cons. And there were moments of, sometimes there can be, but especially now after this whole journey and finding my birth mom, a lot of it has changed for the best. Because now I see more of who I am. I see everything of who I am when it comes to the Guatemalan roots and my Latino culture, especially with my mom. And I just wanna say thank you guys. I just wanna say thank you for everything that it's been for all of the websites all of the articles that it's been featured on i know there's so much more to come but i just needed to get out my gratitude as of right now with everything that's happened over a 24 hour span it's been a lot but in the end i always just want to tell you guys if you feel like if you see a passion or if you have a goal and you know that you have a message that needs to be shared whether it is through video whether it is through your art and painting or music or through your work ethic or through your voice or through writing. However it is you express yourself, utilize that. Because there is always gonna be one other person that needs to hear exactly what you're going through or what advice and life tips that you have. In the end, I am still just me, a normal human being. No one is inferior or superior to anyone else. And just as much as I have a story, you have a story too. And that's the biggest thing that I just wanna get out. I always wanna share is that you have a voice too. And just like me making a difference when it comes to adoption and inspiring other adoptees to wanna to dive in further of finding their birth family or exploring their culture and their roots, you have a, you have a story as well to make an impact to other people. Because in the end, I believe that that should be a huge life purpose is helping is helping others and sharing the best motivation and realness because even the realness and motivation can be when you're at your lowest because it just shows that we're all human and we're all going through things thank you once again i hope you guys have a beautiful day thank you i'm still just speechless i'm still speechless but there's so much more to come